My name is Ben Rabinowitz. I'm a trial attorney from New York City. And today I'd like to talk to you about emphasizing key points on both direct examination and cross-examination. Too often lawyers fail to take advantage of the ability to emphasize points by really listening carefully to the witness's answers and then working with those answers to maximize the effect for summation. And any time that you're getting an answer from a witness, the lawyer must continually evaluate in their own mind, do I have sufficient information brought out to make a cogent and compelling argument on summation? If you don't, don't even think about moving forward. So let's take an example. Let's assume a witness has asked a question, what happened? And the answer is, the man took out a gun. The very next question might be by some lawyers, what happened next? Answer, the man left the store. Well, that doesn't do anything. It doesn't help. It doesn't emphasize the point. So what we're trying to do is to milk the answer for all it's worth. If the answer is a gun, highlight that point. Let's put that up. Let's make that the star. Let's try and find ways to ask questions about that. What happened? The man took out a gun. Where was the gun when you first saw it? Describe the gun. Tell us what the man did with the gun. Tell us step by step what happened after the man took out the gun. In other words, all of these questions force the narrative, allowing the witness to speak and reminding the jurors of the importance of that subject area. Well, the very same thing happens on cross-examination. If, in fact, we want to emphasize key points, we have to break those points down to their component parts. So if you think of this area, this one limited area which is important, as the frames of a slow motion movie, and we're going to take each frame and put a separate question to the witness, if I do something as simple as taking a pen out of my pocket, and I hold that pen out and drop it, you could, of course, ask a question on cross-examination did you drop your pen? But that gets no mileage. The mileage is brought out by stressing frame by frame what took place, changing the tone of your voice, and moving the action. So I could do this. There was a pen in your pocket, sir. You knew it was there. You touched it. You reached it. You held it between two fingers. You knew then you were going to straighten your arm out, and you did. And it was then that you started to release the pen. The pen started to fall. You watched it fall, changing the tone of your voice still, and ending with a bang. And you, sir, did nothing to stop it from hitting the ground. The point is, by emphasizing key points, we're strengthening our argument for summation.